This video will show you the best settings for God of War. If you want to go to a specific time, check out the timestamps. What do you do when this black screen error happens? As you can see in the FPS graph, the game has crashed. This is because our game is still in version 1, and we need to update it. There are two ways to update the game, for the first method. If you do not have Discord then skip to 2 minutes 11. First exit out of the game. Now go to the first link in the description for the official RPCS3 server invite. Click on accept and go to the server. Now go down until you see bot spam. Now enter this message as shown into the chat. We need to find out our serial number. For that go back to our PCS3. Right click God of War. Then go to copy info. Then copy serial. Now go back to Discord and paste the serial number. You can see we have multiple downloads. We have to download all these update files for the best performance. Make sure you have all 9 update files for the update to work. Now go back to our PCS3. Click on File, then Install Packages. Go to where you have downloaded the update files, and select the 9 update files. Make sure everything is selected then click on Install. After all the updates are installed, right click the game again. Now go to Manage Game Patches. Since we are on version 12, select 1.12. Now make sure all the three settings are enabled. Now click on Apply, and Save, and open the game. And now you can see we do not get any more crash and our game runs perfectly. If you want to see the best settings, then go to 4 minutes 20. If you do not have Discord then follow this method. Go to the second link in the description. Now we need to paste our serial number in the search. To get the serial number, go back to our PCS3. Right click the game, then select copy info, then select copy serial. Now go back to the website and paste the serial number. You can see we have 9 update files, download all of them for the best performance. After you have downloaded all your update files go back to our PCS3. Go to files, then select install packages. Select all the 9 package files you have downloaded. Make sure all the 9 update files are selected. After that click on install. This will take a couple of minutes so wait. After the update is complete, right click the game. Then select manage game patches. Since we are on the latest version, select 1.12. Enable all three settings for best performance. After you have enabled, click on apply, then save. Now run the game. You can see that the game runs perfectly without any black screen error. You can see in the FPS counter without optimizations. We only get 10 FPS and 480p graphics. To fix this go back to main menu. Now before applying any settings go to desktop. Right click, then select NVIDIA control panel. If you have AMD, then click on the third link in the description. Go to manage 3D settings, then go to program settings. Click on the add button. Click on RPCS3, then click on add selected program. After RPCS3 is selected, go down until you see max frame rate. Enable this and in the right, put 60 and press OK. After you have done that, click on apply. After it has been applied, go back to our PCS3. Now right click the game and select create custom configuration. Follow the steps as shown for the best settings in God of War. Put SPU X float as approximate X float. Enable SPU loop detection. For SPU block size, put it as mega. Now go to GPU. Make sure the render is set to Vulkan. Put frame a limit as off for best performance. Put anti-aliasing as auto. Put shader quality and anisotropic filtering as auto. Put CULL as approximate. 
Leave default resolution as it is. To get higher resolution, change the resolution scale. Check the percentages to know which one will work for you. Enable right color buffers. Now go to audio. Select audio output as X audio 2. Now go to advanced. Enable accurate RSX reservation. Put sleep time accuracy as, as host. Put RSX FIFO accuracy as atomic. Put exclusive full screen mode as, prefer borderless full screen. Put driver wake up delay as 600. Disable vertex cache. Go to emulator. Click on enable performance overlay. Click on apply and save. Now we need to access a secret option, for that go to where our PC S3 is located. Click on GUI configs. Click on current settings.ini. Now press Ctrl plus F. Type in show debug tab. Change the false to true. Save this file and restart our PC S3. Right-click the game and select Change Custom Configuration. Now you will see a new debug tab. Click on that. Enable for CPU Blit Emulation. Click on Apply and Save. Now run the game. These are the best settings for God of War. As you can see in the FPS counter, we went from 10 FPS to 25 FPS. But just know, even if you have the best settings, some CPU just won't be able to run it due to how demanding the game is. But with this app, we can double our FPS for free. Open lossless scaling. Now follow the settings as shown for the best lossless scaling settings. Select 3x for more FPS. Now click on scale and go back to game. Give lossless scaling a couple of seconds to activate. When we see the FPS counter we can see it glitch. That's the indication that lossless scaling is working. In this frame we can see I went from 30 FPS to 90 FPS thanks to lossless scaling. Enjoy some God of War gameplay. If this guide helped you, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.